Now we will have a look at the mechanism of acceleration in the vehicle. How exactly does the mechanism of acceleration come into being and how exactly is the power which is being generated at the engine get transferred to the wheels which results in the movement of the car. So we will have a look at that process in this lecture. So the first is of course the force which is being pushed onto the piston that is the force which is generated from the combustion that is the input force that force which is pushing on the piston creates a turning effort or torque which rotates the crankshaft so as we have seen earlier the slider crank mechanism converts the linear movement of the piston to rotation so the force which is applied on the piston is being converted to torque at the shaft so the torque is being generated at the output shaft of the engine now that torque is then taken by the transmission the torque is modified using the gearing in the transmission so gearing is basically the arrangement of the gears that modifies the torque it increases it and reduces the speed of rotation so the concept which is applied in the transmissions in a most typical transmission is the concept of gear ratio or the mechanical advantage basically if you are having a gear which is having a smaller dia and it is driving a gear with a larger dia so the torque in the smaller dia gear will get multiplied in the larger dia gear but the power remains the same so this is the uh, concept which is used in the transmission to increase the torque and further down the line after the transmission at the differential the torque is further increased because again differential is a type of a gearing which increases the torque further and that torque is then applied to the driven wheel using the half shafts the wheel then wants to spin but it cannot due to the road so this is a condition in which the vehicle is standing the wheel wants to spin there is a torque being applied by the differential onto the wheel the wheel wants to spin but is not allowed to spin because of the resistance from the road because it is connected to the road the road does not allow it to spin freely and hence a reaction force is impinged on the wheel due to this friction so there is a force which is not allowing the wheel to spin that reaction force is due to the friction between the tire contact and the road and this friction force actually makes the vehicle move forward as a reaction so you can see how the mechanism of acceleration takes place so the whole thing is that the vehicle moves forward due to the frictional reaction force and not due to the actual torque which is being generated so that actual torque gives a reaction force on the road and that helps the vehicle move forward so as we have seen a force is generated when a torque is applied to the wheel and that force is generated at the interface of the tire with the road so when a torque acts at the wheel there is a frictional force which is being generated and that tends to move the vehicle that frictional force is actually called the tractive force tractive force is a function of the tire properties the road properties and also importantly the weight acting on the wheels so the weight which is acting on the wheels that is this weight vertical weight which is acted upon on the wheels is a very important parameter which governs how much of this force is being generated which we will see in the later lectures how actually it comes into play so at the top level the factors which limit acceleration are two one is power limited acceleration and one is traction limited acceleration power limited acceleration is basically the acceleration which has been limited because of the engine and transmission design and the drive line ratios so if the acceleration is limited by how much power is being generated by the engine or the drive line ratios of the transmission then that is the power limited acceleration if the acceleration is limited by the tire and road properties or the weight of the vehicle then that is the traction limited acceleration now these both are two different 
uh, ways of designing the vehicles for acceleration and we will deal with them in the coming slides.